Well, because the voltage of the resistor is always uh, in sync with the current in the circuit. Now, in these two examples that we had, we didn't have an external resistor. I purposely didn't put an external resistor. I just put a, a, just a capacitor or just an inductor. But there was still current in the circuit, right? So even though we didn't have uh, voltage of the resistor, we still had current. In other words, there's two vectors here presented that are in phase. This is the voltage of the resistor, this is the current. So in these two circuits that we just had, we just had current. And whatever phase the current was, the voltage of the inductor was ahead by pi over 2, the voltage of the capacitor was behind by pi over 2. But now we're going to add an external resistor and the voltage of the resistor is just simply going to equal the, the resistance of the resistor times the current. So it's just going to equal um, whatever the current is times a certain constant, the resistance of the circle, of the, resist, uh, of the circuit. OK, let's do the uh, certain measurable quantity here. Then we're going to go to, uh, I'm going to do an RL circuit and an RC circuit. So what can we uh, measure here? So what should the ammeter in the circuit be? I'm going to now take my inductor, replace it with a capacitor. Ooh, my inductor has warmed up. Wow. Ooh. OK. So I'm just replacing the inductor with a capacitor. And now, what should this show? This really didn't change much because all I did is I just took the inductor out. Now I have a capacitor. Its period should still be 3.4 divisions. Yeah, it's still 3.4. Its, its amplitude should still be. 3.4 or 3.5 divisions, so I haven't really done much there. But how about the ammeter? Okay, how much current should it read? V root mean square over XC, right? And then XC is 1 over 2 pi FC. So it's basically 2 pi FC times V root mean square. So uh, I root mean square should equal 2 pi times 60 times point, the capacitance is 0 0.2 microfarads. Times the, that's 60 times that times V root mean square, which is 6.57. So that's what the ammeter is going to measure. Oh, it's going to be pretty small, huh? Pretty. It's almost zero. What is it? What is it saying over there? Point 0.5, or the, this one kind of made up for that. This is 10 to the minus 6, though, remember. 
0.5 milliamp. Let me see here. It's showing zero here. Let me see if I go get another one. Should uh, multimeter. Is that right? 0.5 million? Let's go maybe 0.50 milliamps. Good? Nice. Is that come on over there in the video? Remember, a lot of good happy faces here. Okay. Okay, now let's.